it did not take me long. This is the first video that I pulled up from St. Nick's channel. The buffoonery over Greek is laughable. He's looking at the Epsilon P and calling it up. And he's still not getting the text here. Not to mention the fact that you will have the preposition here drop its vowel because the preceding word starts with a vowel. Dum Dum doesn't know enough about the New Testament. Sad. No, 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 that's um, epizon. So what's up? Is this over or something? Upo, that's over, right? Let me just double check, make sure I'm not somehow being mistaken. So prepositions are interesting because they're applied, right? They have a simple meaning. Don't know what that means. But then um, they can apply to mean something not so literal. Don't know what that <clears throat> means either. Excuse me. Oh, it's oh, under. You're beyond excuse. Of course, it's hyper. That is over. Or uper it's or pronounced something. Iper. Okay, let me check Iper, what the word over is. Just I don't want to Iper. give anyone the wrong information, so I gotta Very check. Very beautiful it when you pronounce it in its um, native tongue. Match entire cell contents. I don't have that. I don't have over in here. Okay, fine. Don't match entire cell contents. Let me see Was if I can find the word over. Was he looking at his brain? He doesn't have anything. Okay, there. let me grab the other version of the database real quick. Pardon the delay, please. Um, here we go. Just unbelievable.